If you really want to go to Spain and you can't decide between Madrid and Barcelona, stop right there. Kaixo, hola and hello. Welcome to San Sebastian. San Sebastian lies in northern Spain at the Atlantic coast in the Basque Country. The Basque Country is a region that spans parts of Spain and France and has its own culture and language. San Sebastian has always been tapped as a hotspot to holiday by Spain's elite. Food, beach, city life, it seems to have it all. Let's take a closer look. Point number one on San Sebastian's list of awesomeness, it's city beaches. There's one beach on each side of the Urumia River. The northern, more exposed Suriola beach is popular among surfers. Sheltered by the Santa Clara Island, La Concha in the south is the perfect family beach. Once the Queen's Seaside Resort, today it is a sought-after destination for everyone escaping the summer heat of south and central Spain. But while the climate is rather mild, the proximity to the Pyrenees makes for rather unpredictable weather conditions. So make sure to bring a wide variety of clothing and gear and don't get discouraged. Because when the mighty Atlantic shows its power, another attraction of the city comes to light – surfing. You can easily rent boards or take lessons at the surf shops along Soriola Beach. Let's go! San Sebastian's combination of urban city life and surfing culture is unparalleled. <laughs> Just be aware that as soon as there are waves, you'll find hundreds of surfers out in the water. One thing is for sure, you're never alone. But as we know, sharing is caring. And there is more. San Sebastian was voted Europe's culture capital 2016. And you don't even need to buy expensive tickets to see great art all over the city. Famous sculptures of artists like Jorge Oteiza or Eduardo Chida turn the city into an open-air museum. In case you want to dig deeper, I suggest the Sun Tunnel Museum. And the futuristic building you can learn more about bus culture and art. Many small galleries across town also host local artists and are well worth a visit. And if there's one reoccurring theme, it is the city's proximity to the Atlantic. But how can I enjoy all these beautiful things in one day, you might ask? City bikes. Just download the app. Scan the QR code and go! The BC City Bikes are electric, very fun to ride and a great alternative to expensive day rentals. And the best thing is that you can return them at many places around the city. So on to the old town. It's on the spectacular square and in the narrow alleyways you really become aware of the rich history of the city, which dates back almost a thousand years. What makes San Sebastian really special though is its food. It has one of the highest number of Michelin stars per square meter in the world. But also apart from haute cuisine you get your money's worth in the old town's countless pincho bars. I'm at the heart of the old town, about to meet a real culinary expert. Cook and journalist Marty Buckley has published an award-winning book about the Basque cuisine and why this region is one of a kind when it comes to food. You've got amazing fish from the Cantabrian Sea, you've got these beautiful mountains where it rains a lot and there's like amazing produce and sheep and meat and so there's that but there's also the chefs. We're really close to France, the French cuisine has always been an influence in the city and really elevated the kitchens across the city. The most famous creation? Pinchos, the Basque version of tapas, miniature dishes on bread. Pinchos are basically the funnest way to eat in the whole world. Because you go from bar to bar, stop at one bar, have a pincho and a drink, go with your friends to the next bar, another pincho, another drink, as long as you can last. <laughs> the drink of choice? Chacoli, Basque white wine. I'm going to get us two of my favorite pinchos. Bache Pecha is especially famous for their anchovies. The owner is the only person that knows the recipe and he puts this special mix of vinegar and like 12 other ingredients and lets them marinate until they're in the perfect like point. These pinchos are not only incredibly hard to eat, they are also delicious. And as Basque as it gets. The red and green and white are the colors of the Basque flag. 
Back to the most urgent question. What to order when you don't have a pincher expert by your side to order for you? Easy. Do as you always do, get your phone out. There's a really good app called Pintos, and basically it's Michelin star chefs from the area that tell you what the best pincho is in which bar, so you know exactly what to order. Cheers to that. But let's not stop here. Next up, a train you must not miss out on, which takes you to a very special part of town. San Sebastian is surrounded by hilltops with exceptional views. My personal favorite, Monte Igueldo, which offers an incredible view. And is nothing short of a breathtaking experience with its small amusement park at the top of the mountain. Roller coaster with a view. What's left to say? Thank you very much for watching. San Sebastian, it's been a ride. <laughs>